Well, I don't even know where to start. You know, I should have taken the books out of the box for the thumbnail because it's really heavy, but here we are. Okay. It's Jay and today I'm here with a pretty big book outlet book haul. I believe there's somewhere around 52 books in this haul so I'm totally not going to give synopsises of all of them because we'll be here for 20 minutes. There was like this huge scratch and dent sale at the warehouse which I live like an hour away from. All of the books were two dollars if they were scratch and dent so we went a little crazy. I was also a little like depressed with my life at this time so we went a little crazy and bought far too many books but I mean you can never have too many books right? So without further ado let us get started. The first book I have is the third book in a series. I believe that is a trilogy. Could be very wrong but I already have the first two books so I figured I'd pick up this one as well. It's Raging Star by Moira Young and this is the third book like I said in the Dustlands trilogy maybe series. I don't know. I haven't even read the first two books but now I have them all so maybe we'll binge them. The next two books are both from the same series. I don't know if it's a duology or longer. Clearly I did not do my research for this video but they've been sitting in a box in my room for the longest time and I figured we need to film this and get it up so that I can put these books away. But they are Walk on Earth a Stranger and Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson. This is the first book. This is the second book. So now we got them. The next book is These Vicious Masks by Taron Shanker and Kelly Zikas and this book I saw when it first came out on booktube like everywhere and I just thought the cover was so pretty so I saw it there and I was like I need it I want it and now I got it so the next book was one that was super hyped on booktube there was like a whole bunch of promotional packages going out when it first came out but then I never saw anybody actually read it and talk about it so who knows if it's good or not but it's To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough I mean thriller mystery right up my alley so we bought it the next book is The Golden Sun by Pierce Brown this is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy I have Red Rising. Now I have the second book. Now we just gotta find the third book, which is Morning Star, apparently, because I didn't know. I had to look at the back of the book. The next book is The Fall by Bethany Griffin, and this is like a paranormal mystery kind of thing going on. I believe there's like a p possession or something, so... Haunted House. We're here for it. The next one is like a little contemporary book so that I can have a break from all my stabby stabby murder murder books once in a while but it is Joyride by Anna Banks. She wrote Nemesis. Have I read it? No. Do I own it? Yes. The next book that I have is The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. I actually like love the cover of it. I saw it hauled on booktube a lot when it first came out but then nobody really talked about it which is like a lot of book outlet books are like that so... And then the next book is White Rose by Amy Ewing and I believe this is the first book in a series. It kind of gave me like the selection vibes and that's like one of my guilty pleasure series so I'm hoping that it's like it. We don't actually know though. The next book I have is Shade Me by Jennifer Brown. Jennifer Brown wrote The Hate List which I loved. This is the first book in the Shade Me series and I have the second book so... We need the first book, obviously, so when I saw it, I was like, gotta get it, so we got it. The next book I have is Shiny Broken Pieces by Sona Charporta and Daniel Clayton. This is a sequel to Tiny Pretty Things, which I have, but still have not read, so now we have the sequel. We can binge it. It's gonna be great. The next book I have is What I Lost by Alexander Ballard and this is a eating disorder book I believe which I'm like really into eating disorders which sounds really weird but I just find that whole concept really interesting. I'm a psychology student okay like I like mental illness stuff okay I'm weird. I know. The next book I have is Final Girls by Rodney Sager. I read their other book which was like the blue one like about the girl camping which I can't remember the name of right now the last something I don't know but I really like that book so I saw this one and I was like 
might as well give it a try for two dollars. The next book was on my most anticipated releases video when it first came out is Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage. This is about a seven-year-old psychopath basically and I'm here for it. It kind of gives me like My Sister Rosa vibes which I really enjoyed so. The next book I'm also very excited about because I read the first two in the series, loved them so had to pick up the third. It is The Merciless Three by Daniel Vega. I definitely enjoyed the first Merciless book the most and the second one was kind of like 3.5 average for me but I'm hoping that this one's really good because it left off on like a huge cliffhanger so I'm definitely interested to see where it's going now. The next one I picked up solely because I liked the cover so I don't really know what it's about but it's The Odds of Lightning by Jocelyn Davies. I just thought it was really pretty so. The next one I have seen like at a lot of thrift stores so I was like you know two dollars why not? It's Blood Red Rebellion by Rosalind Eves. I don't really know what it's about. I'm assuming fantasy sci-fi kind of thing. It says in a world ruled by magic she was born to break everything. So. The next one that I have is Dark Days Packed by Alison Goodman. This is the sequel of The Dark Days Club which I own in a different like cover of this so they're not gonna match but that's okay. I have not read it but I've heard great things about it, so I'm here for it. The next one I have is The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Ruder Hapgood. I recently read her new book, How to Be Luminous, How to Be Luminous, and I really liked it. I gave it a four out of five stars, so I'm very interested to read her debut to see like how her writing style changed from that last book, but I'm really excited about this one. The next one I have is The Calculus of Change by Jessie Hilb. My mom was laughing at me because I'm like literally the worst at math and I bought a book that said calculus and she thought this was the funniest thing in the entire world so I'm hoping that it's not, you know, a lot about math because you girl dumb. The next one I have is The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Portz and I just really liked the cover because I really like butterflies so clearly I'm good with my money. The next one I'm probably the most excited about because I've read the other two in the series, The Red Queen and The Wish Granter. This is the third book and I own the fourth book so I've been looking for this book everywhere. It is The Traitor Prince by CJ Redwine. These are all like fairy tale retellings which I am a huge huge fan of so I'm definitely reading this like ASAP. The next book that I bought I kind of bought as a little bit of a joke. Natasha from my reading is odd hates this book and I wanted to see if it really was as bad as she says it is. It's My Hot Pterodactyl Boyfriend by Alan Kamin. And like I said, I literally just bought it because of Natasha, so. The next two books are part of a series. I've read the first one. These are books two and three, so I figured why not. They are A Million Suns and Shades of Earth, books two and three of Across the Universe by Beth Revis. So like I said, I have the first one, read it. I gave it a 3.5, so I want to see where this story goes from there. The next book I have is The Summer of Supernovas by Darcy Woods and this one I just thought was like a cute contemporary book. Like I said I like to buy contemporary books to like off balance or balance out my stabby stabby murder murder books. If I've read too many of those you need a little break sometimes you know. The next one again contemporary it's The Secrets of Attraction by Robin Constantine. You need a break from stabby stabby. Two more contemporaries like I said you need a break. The first is First and Then by Emma Mills. The next is a little something different by Sandy Hall and I forgot to take that sticker off before this video but I'm not gonna try to get it off because it's gonna be impossible. Just kidding I'm gonna try to get it off. Pro Pro tip, tweezers work wonders. Feel like a surgeon. There we go. See, comes off so much easier than using your nails. The next one I have is a part of a series. I believe this is the third one. I have the fourth and first books, I believe. So I just need the second one. But it is The Dragon Air by Cinda Williams Chima, and it's actually like perfect condition, which I don't understand how this was a scratch and dent, but I'll take it. The next book I have is This Monstrous Thing by Mackenzie Lee. I didn't even know Mackenzie Lee had other books other than The Gentleman's Guide for blah 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 and The Lady's Guide for blah blah blah. I can't remember what they're called, but she has other books. So I saw it and recognized the author, so I was like, okay. Next is Unplugged by Donna Freitas and I don't remember why I bought it, but there must have been a reason. It probably liked the cover because I'm digging it. She kind of looks like she's gonna die. So, 
we love that on this channel. The next one is Birthstone. This is two books in one. Prom Days from Hell and Hell Week by Rosemary Clement Moore. And you know, why don't you buy two books in one for two dollars? <laughs> Steal. Just saying. And then the final book that I have is The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. And this was big on booktube. There was like a huge promotion going on for it. Never saw anybody actually ever talk about it. So I want to see if it's good or not. Alright guys, so that was my really big book haul of books that I probably didn't need, but I bought them anyways because I was depressed. So let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!